I explain to you what we're doing here. So, over the next couple of weeks, um, even a couple of months, or even forever, I'm going to start this uh, this tutorial series on uh, core programming and the um, I'm trying to think on how to word this, but it's like without it's just the core framework. That's what I was looking for. It's the core iOS framework. We're not going to be working with any other frameworks in this series right here. Now I will be doing other videos besides this series, so don't worry. I'm I'm not forever going to spend uh, the entire time about the core series. So anyway, we're going to call well we're going to create a single view application, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to name this core framework. And we will be using we will be using Swift and iPhone. Sorry, I haven't been posting a whole lot lately. Uh, I've been in a lot of well. You have the World Cup going on. I mean, I don't usually watch soccer or football or whatever you call it. Um, but I usually don't watch it. But you know, World Cup comes along, you know, and it's you know it's the best of the best. So it's really a lot of fun to watch and. Uh, you know, even if it is an hour and a half of my life that I won't get back. I mean, hey, it's still fun. Um, I'm sure there's other people that think um, American, or not American, well, yeah, American baseball is boring. Uh, they have baseball in other countries. American football, that's that's what I'll look for. I'm sure people think that's boring. Or maybe there's even people that haven't heard of it. But anyway, a little off topic there. Um, so you have your view controller. Um, is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put in a um, a text or actually no you're going to do a label and I actually center it up go ahead make it centered make it so the text is centered and then on top of this you're going to expand it you know you're going to make it wide and then label, I'm going to do what is your name. All right, and then on top of that, I want to do a text field. So go ahead, put in a text field. Make it just slightly off like that. Uh, actually, I mean, it really doesn't matter. But you're going to want it at the top, so that way I... Uh, you have room for the keyboard and then set name for the button let's see here alright so now let's go ahead and open up our assistant editor today's gonna be short and sweet oh hold up orientation portrait alright alright go ahead I'm gonna give myself some room the label, I'm going to call it just label one. Text field, I'm going to call it um, text field one. And then the button's going to be an action. And today is very short and sweet. We'll expand on this in future tutorials, but make sure it's an action. And I'm just going to name it set name. And then inside of it, we're going to do label1.text equals text field one dot text. All right, that is a one line, that's one line of code, just one. And with this, it's going to give the app a little bit of functionality. Now in a future video, I'm going to show you how to save the name so that when the app opens up, uh, the name is still there. And I'm going to expand on this forever and ever and ever. Um, hopefully, I mean, I don't know. Uh, core framework has a lot. I misspelled framework, didn't I? Frameword, whatever. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I actually have a little, um, I guess you could call it a poll I want you to take. It will be in the description. Um, I just kind of want to get a feel for my audience and uh, what they want. Um, it's pretty much, you know, what do you guys want? Uh, you can post that in the comments, um, but I really want to know about you guys and uh, just, um, yeah. So anyway, what is your name? 
I'm just going to say Cameron Grant and set name and it changes the title or the label text so I could change it to Swift Devs set and it changes and that's all it does but the thing is I mean it's it's essentially adding a little bit of functionality in the future um, well actually hopefully within the next week I will expand on this and we'll move off of it anyway so the poll uh, well the poll the questionnaire whatever you want to call it um, that will be in the link in the description I really want you to fill it out it won't take any more than 60 seconds of your time if you do it quick um, now if you want to go all elaborate on me I, I mean you're more than free to do that so anyway thank you for watching this video make sure to subscribe to Swift Devs thank you if you've already subscribed to Swift Devs as we have um, we have more than 1,000 subscribers now I think we have like 1,500 I'm not sure but uh, we're getting close to 1,500 if we're not there um, so thank you for subscribing uh, Follow us on Twitter at Swift Devs. Uh, we would love to follow. Um, and thank you if you already are, because we're at about 11,000 right now. Thank you for watching. I'm Cameron.